Well guys, uh, good afternoon. Uh, they brought us an engine. It's a used engine. It's probably a core. We're going to go ahead and tear it apart, see if it's going to be uh, salvageable, see if we can rebuild it. So let me go ahead and get to uh, dismantling this one and uh, see what comes out. All right, guys, let me go ahead and show you. Well, guys, uh, this is the engine in question. I'm going to go ahead and tear it apart. They had already started. The belt covers are off. The locks are off. And uh, we already noticed that we got some lifters damaged and there's a little bit of overheating in that cam. But that's still repairable. So we're going to go in for bleeding to this in the park and uh, see if uh, this is going to be a rebuildable engine or not. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this. Well guys, uh, we got the upper covers off and the rockers and stuff like that, so let me go ahead and take those heads off. Well guys, uh, heads are off on this 6.4. Cylinders seem to be in a decent shape. They're not scratched or no pits or holes in them. This is to seem to be alright. We know they're going to get replaced, but they seem to be alright. Well guys, uh, this is the rear of the engine, camshaft, crank, seal, I still got to get these six 18 millimeter bolts off, then I'm going to go ahead and set up that little engine stand cradle in the back of the engine so I can go ahead and get it on that engine stand over there. So let me get that done guys. Well guys, uh, we got the covers off. I put that turbo bracket back on for those two bolts in the chain. I'm going to get that little uh, cherry picker, that hoist. I'm going to lift it, suck it up, and set it up on the end stand. So let me go ahead and take care of that guys. Well guys, uh, now that we got the engine on the engine hoist, I'm going to go ahead and move that turbo bracket back off and then I'm going to go ahead and remove all the front damper, cover, oil pump, all that good stuff. Uh, so we can go ahead and uh, turn this engine over and go ahead and start undoing the rods, clean bearings, and get that crank out of there and so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and continue guys. Well guys, uh, we put the engine over, uh, one of the lifters lost the rotor, that's the reason why our pan got messed up, but we'll get to that one later, it's going to pull up, let me go ahead and get that old pan and check the uh, lower crank is.
Hey guys, I had to uh, step out of the shop for a bit. I mean, it was a little too noisy in there and I couldn't record. I just wanted to show you guys what a uh, small little uh, part actually causes in an engine. Let me show you guys. That engine that I'm working on, guys. Hydraulic lifter. A little uh, bearing broke off of it. The little roller. And because of that rover breaking, I mean, basically, huh, we, we're going to have to rebuild that engine. We tore it all apart, as you saw. This is a little culprit because of this little lifter. I mean, that's, we had to do all that work just to get, you know, repair the damages that this little roller did. So, uh, let me go ahead and go back in and uh, show you guys what the engine looks like. Well guys, there's a bare block right there. That cam journal, that last one, it's all burnt and torn up. That's the one that was messed up, which is a cylinder number, the last one. Hey, okay. here's a crankshaft, heads, bottom cover, and the rest of the parts. Well guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and call it quits for the day. I already tore it up and uh, well I'm going to pull that cam off and send this block in, get those cam bushings, get those heads surfaced and cleaned and get that crank crankshaft reground. So I'll go ahead and get back to this one hopefully maybe Friday. Alright guys, appreciate you guys watching, like and subscribe.